up at the spot and you know I'm steady blazing. You're a goddess. Aquarius, how you doing? What is it about these Lars or Rs? Because it seems to be that there seems to be a lot of us and thems and ems, bums, tums and ums going about, or a lot of mums. Or your mum's getting about. <laughs> I don't know, you could be an aquarium with an Aquarian mum that gets about. I don't know, but anyway, Aquarius, we've got your channel messages for uh, February that have just arrived. Something's just arrived, right on your lap. It's like this person's lapping it up. It could be a Leo, or lapping up milk, I don't know, but or being milk or lactated. Who knows, but you're definitely pulling on some sort of teat, that's for sure. So it's come, someone's putting those petite. Someone's very, like, slim, slender, or Brenda, or putting things into a blender, just like Pisces had. And you've got so many references, and they're exactly the same as Pisces, Aquarius, that uh, it's, it's quite uncanny, to be honest. Um, but anyway, it definitely seems to be like um, like getting bigger, 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 bigger. They just keep saying it's getting better and better and getting better and better and better at uh, my craft. Uh, but I'm definitely hearing, though, references of uh, quite a lot of dirty things like ums, bums, mums and tums. It's called like mums the word around temperance or uh, Sagittarius. But it might be around Libra, which is because uh, I'm hearing something's being kept secret, the best kept secret, and it's like mum's the word. It might be around your mum or you're keeping your mum uh, out of your life, I don't know, but keeping someone out as you're keeping someone in. You've definitely got a keeper, so you've definitely got landing a net, which is also a fish. So you're like landing something like a deal with a Pisces or making a deal with a Pisces. Like, listen, Pisces, get in, I'll make you a deal. So it's kind of like this uh, big deal, this big fish or a big, like, let's make a big deal of it. Let's go all large. So I don't know if you're like, you know what, we've got a wedding coming up or we've got a plan that's coming up and we might as well do it. If we're going to go big, then we might as well go large and go big. So... Um, I don't know if you kind of like have a dinner date or something like that, and you know what, let's just go, or, or a mate even, because I'm also hearing a mate or a friend. Okay, but I'm hearing like, if we're going to do it, then we might as well do it right, child, the righteous childs, uh, right, uh, Rothschilds, something to do with money. Okay, but if we're going to do it, then we might as well do it big, so I've got loads of money, is what it's saying, you or your partner has got loads of money, it's like money, 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 more, 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 more money. Money means more, and more means money. What do points make? Prizes. And it's like, well, look, I've got a prize and a surprise for you, Pisces, is what I'm hearing. I've got a prize for you, a prize-winning marrow. So someone could be sending you a prize-winning marrow. Now, whatever this marrow is, I don't think it's a vegetable. It could be a verb, and it could begin with V, but it could be a vagina, is also what they're saying. It's because, <laughs> listen, I'm just coming straight off the cuff with it, off with the mark. Someone's putting the cuffs on, and someone's taking the cuffs off. So you have a one under arrest or two, someone's going to put kinky cuffs on, is what I'm picking up, like kinky cuffs. Or like, uh, I don't know, I keep seeing like these, uh, um, uh, what do you call it, like, bra uh, they're not bracelets, <laughs> but they're uh, like, what do you call when you get arrested? Handcuffs, but they've got pink around them, like pink, because I keep picking up like uh, an eight, which is around Leo Aquarius energy, and I'm also picking up handcuffs, so I'm picking up hangman, Pisces, and I'm also hearing around Capricorn energies as well, right, being cuffed. So someone's like, uh, you can cuff me, but you can also call my bluff. So it's called a bit like blind man's buff, so you're definitely looking in this deck around, Li well, Libra anyway, but two, but you're looking at Libra, because in, Li in this deck that I've been using and going to be using, they're actually blind. So uh, you've kind of got a cuff, across, like something across their eyes. So lies. Elijah, or uh, li like um, uh, my, li li Miser, um, uh, <laughs> Elijah, <laughs> but um, they're hearing. I'm here. They are hearing. They're hearing something. So like, I'm gonna. You're gonna hear something for the first time. So it's like you're definitely hearing somebody do something. Whatever this is, uh, Aquarius. What are you hold up to? So anyway. So you feel like you feel like. Well, you feel like something. They're saying you're definitely feeling someone. That's for sure. Feeling, you're, I mean, I don't know if you're seeing, but they're saying if you can't see, 
you're blind to it, but you can feel it. it so it's kind of like this connection for a lot of you. You've got the Two of Cups energy here. Uh, you definitely got two, so you're definitely dealing with a round Libra. And you, and this feeling is, is like, I can feel it and I can feel you around. Can you feel me even though you can see me, but you can't? You've got a Two of Cups metaphysical connection, uh, Aquarius, I feel, for a lot of you. And it's like, uh, you can't see me, but I'm watching. <laughs> so what is this person watching? That's what I'm saying. Because it's kind of like, look, you can't see me, but I'm watching you. So you've kind of got uh, this energy uh, is of a Two of Cups energy, but I don't know if it's a spying energy or watching or keeping a close eye on someone. It's like I'm going to keep a close eye on you and I'm going to keep all my cards close to my chest. So it can be a card reader, tarot card reader, or someone's drawing cards on someone to see how they think and how they feel about them, or you're getting readings done, okay, or you're doing them yourself. But I'm definitely hearing like uh, something is done, 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 or like Darren, the name Darren or Aaron, or so A, anything beginning with Abby, Abbott, uh, Adrian, also Adrian, there might be something where it's like Rocky Balboa, it's like that's done, there's too much of a fight there for me to keep doing that, so that's done, so you, you've, whoever it is that you've been fighting with, it's kind of like, you know what, this is done and that's over, I'm no longer fighting anymore, so you kind of got this fish energy that's kind of like, look, I'm no longer fighting anymore, so they're free, so it feels like that this Pisces energy is free and single and they've just wormed their way through a net or something, or Lynette, the name Lynette, uh, but landed like something within a like a deal but you've got so many references of pisces aquarius i don't want you to all get uh, mixed up fixed up <laughs> someone's getting fixed up i don't want you to get it mixed up i don't want you to get mixed emotions is also what i'm hearing i've got mixed emotions about it like my feelings are being like my stomach's churning and i've got mixed emotions and feelings mixed emotions it's kind of like a churning feeling uh man y'all really got to watch the tower reading for pisces because it was, man, I went into it for probably for about five minutes, just over the Queen of Cups that's in this new deck that I'm using. And there was a little fish, okay, little fish, big fish, cardboard box. Uh, but there was a little fish and there was someone that was holding a crab also. So they're getting very clammy, but they're also got something to do with around a ca uh, cancer cancerian. Okay, uh, and it was something to do with getting wet and wild and clammy uh, over a cancerian or a fish. Or it could be a seven and a fish. Seven's fish. So you might be seeing sevens fish. I don't know. Or you might be seeing seven things. Because they're saying, I'm, oh, listen, bruv, I'm seeing the seven of pentacles, but I hope someone's not seeing seven people. I mean, what is this? King Joffy Joffa with seven kids, seven wives, and seven husbands, and seven whatever's this. I've got seven of them. So no, someone's not got seven people, right? Or seven children. I've got se I'm either seeing seven. <laughs> Someone could be seeing a life path seven, or seeing a cancerian, or seeing... Uh, like a um, seeing sevens, like I keep seeing seven. I mean, I see sevens all the time because I'm a life path seven. <laughs> so you kind of got this. Like I'm seeing oh, 14, 14 on the clock. Man, I just still, I don't never look over there either. One four one four, nearly quarter past two. So uh, you've got five and five. So you're dealing with Taurus, Sagittarius. I think is a five, right? Um, uh, yeah, or a life path five. But something like five is alive, John, Johnny, or Johnny five is alive, some sort of computer is alive. It's like my computer says no. Oh, my computer says no. Why is your computer saying no? <laughs> you might be buying a computer for a lot of you. You're buying a computer. Or your computer says no. Why does your computer say no? This is a bit like a PC world or something. Are a lot of you going to buy a PC or a computer is what I'm hearing. Okay, because one might be knackered. Because <laughs> I'm hearing like something in your energy is tiring, and then something very in, in your energy is very exciting. So it's like getting getting something new for the first time. Like you're going to see something on the computer for the first time. What are you going to watch? I mean, y'all definitely got to be watching porn or something, man. Because y'all got definite big energies around you. Like um, like I'm getting a computer for the first time, and I'm going to be able to see it on big screen. So, uh, man, what was this reference that was in Pisces reading about ice cream? I'm going to see. I'm going to go and eat ice cream with a Pisces, or, or um, like I'm going to see you for for the first time on a big screen. Like I've been watching you on a phone for quite a while, but now I'm after getting a, a not well. This here is an iPad Air. Like so, I'm either getting an iPad or an uh, an i like computer uh, Apple like a laptop or something 
and I'm going to see you for the first time on the big screen, is what I'm hearing. Unless any of you are doing an acting career or anything like that, and somebody does things that is on the screen, because it keeps saying like a screenshot, or like a, a Snapchat shot, or like taking a shot of something. Some of you might be drinking, but uh, I don't think so, because I keep hearing that uh, you're going to see me for the first time on screen. Like, you haven't seen me on screen, but I'm going to show you it on a big screen. So, whatever it is, it's kind of like enlarged. So, uh, it feels like that I can now enlarge it because I now have a better screen, or I have a better chance at something because I now have a computer or uh, I have a better chance at doing things now because whatever I'm buying is bigger. Because you've got this big energy, like it's, I mean, y'all should be around Pisces anyway, because Aquarians are like a watery air sign, but I mean, me, I have, uh, bruv, you don't know how many places of Aquarius I have and why, how difficult that is for me to do it. In Venice, I'm an Aquarius. I've got Aquarius and Venus. And I've also got Aquarius in two planets, which is Mercury and another one as well. Uh, so I have a lot of Aquarian energy in me. Because <laughs> I keep hearing like I've got, I want this Aquarius in me. In me, Emma or Emily, or I want this Aquarian in me. Somebody wants something inside them anyway, whatever it is. I want you inside me is all I keep hearing. Like I want you inside me. Or Cy, Simon or Cynthia. So I say but like uh, I want things <laughs> listen y'all come up with a Pisces one I got three <laughs> so 11 11 on the clock so something to do with like uh, three snaps or uh, like uh, snap rhythm is a dancer someone's going to give you a dance or something um, to dance lady and lady in red she's dancing with me cheek to cheek Nobody here. Yeah, it's something to do with it's the way you look. It's the way someone looks tonight. It's like, well, tonight is your night. <laughs> tonight is your night. It's like, listen, Pisces, tonight's your night. Or like, this is your, or like, this is your life. And it's like a red book. Uh, Michael or Aspel, I think it was Michael Aspel. Any of y'all from Britain? Remember, this is your life. It was a bread, a bread book. A bread book. I don't know. Some of you are doing Braille. Or it's books, story books, or writing a book, or writing a novel. Anything beginning with N, also N, 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 N. Um, but that, because <laughs> I picked up, still looking at your fine R's, uh, v, VR, like a VR, or J, uh, JR, JR, JR Hartley, anything beginning with J. Jenny, don't be hasty. Um, so you could be dealing with uh, Paolo Natini. Or P, anything beginning with P, Putchy, that's probably you still watching. Uh, uh, vagina, also who I'm hearing, unless you work for the elderly and they've got Angina, or your name's Angela, also, or unless you like Angel Radio. Some of you might have sleep at the What you've done to somebody. Done, that's probably you, put you Stan from Australia. Um, so you've kind of got this look what you've done to me. You've done something to somebody. It's kind of like, look what you've done to me. Uh, so it's kind of like, look, it's all over me. What have you done? So you've kind of got this where it's kind of like, oh, now look what you've made me do. So, but I don't think that that's a bad thing. I think that's, no, look what you made me do. So you've kind of got this energy that everybody seems to be getting on this sexual healing kick. Well, that's the two of cups for you. That's what that does, okay? Energy of attraction is, uh, is that anything that makes you feel very passionate, like music, okay? Um, but I'm definitely hearing, though, um, I cannot breathe. You see, me, when I make music, normally if you listen to it, there are references of things that I'm probably going through myself that are probably a lot of you don't understand or know. Uh, and messages are there just for me because I also create them. And I Cannot Breathe was also um, something to do with uh, well, where I have to go for a sleep apnea test and stuff like that and things that I go through and, uh, and things and it just seems to fit quite well. So something about breathing, someone's breathing, okay, or breathing, like uh, you, you're copulating 
or, you, or it's definitely sexually intoriated anyway, uh, Aquarius. I don't know if this is anything to do with like wanting a child or wanting a baby or grandkids or grandparents and stuff being involved. Okay, because uh, I'm kind of picking up those references for you. Um, but I picked up uh, like a uh, uh, J.R., like J.R. Hartley, or like uh, Sue Ellen, or Sue, Sue Lin, or so anybody from China. Um, but uh, I'm definitely hearing these J and R's, like for jazzle, or like you see someone's for jazzle, or special bits, like, <laughs> like uh, I don't know if someone's having like a... Uh, a piercing or they've got a piercing somewhere down below like I've got something pierced or your name's Pearson Scott or something up the name Scott or Pearson's okay uh, Parsons or some picking up the name Parsons unless you're cooking parsnips which I am and it came out before in some of my readings and I thought why on earth would a parsnip be quite important in a reading well lo and behold I didn't realize until just this moment that I've been making uh, dietary stuff and eating also parsnips I'm actually anybody else out there partial to a parsnip well I'm rather partial to Marshall so you might be called Eminem but you might like Angel Radio I don't know or you make it and you've got Aquarius in your chart um, but something to do with Marshall okay Martians as well the extraterrestrials Mulder and Scully so <laughs> you've kind of got this uh, this strange phenomenon like phenomenon da, 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 da. it's a phenomenon but like it's a phenom it's dom dominic you're right dominic but like dom dick and dom someone's dick and someone's dom or you've got a condom on your dick or something like that or your name's richard could be a taurus involved but like uh i've got a condom something to do with that i got a rubber in my wallet I'm waiting for that special day till my dream girl comes my way. I got a rubber in my wallet. So <laughs> some of you are really getting on the old rubbers or the name John or Johnny. But uh, you're definitely getting on that. <laughs> Saying like, I'm definitely getting on that. So I don't know what that's for, but definitely someone wants you on it. Whatever it is, because I can feel like someone being spun round on it. Right, now what is that being spun round? Spun round. Spun round? Is that a name? Spun round? Spun round. What? Spun round. Come round. <laughs> Sorry. Come round. <laughs> so it's like, look, why don't you just come round? Or like, why don't you come around? Why don't you come round? Someone's coming on someone coming round. Or like, someone's looking on someone coming around to them. Like, coming over to them. Like, coming over to see you or something like that. Or coming on someone's round bit. Whatever it is, but it's coming on a round bit. So it's like a merry-go-round, or the name Mary, or Morton. But like, uh, I'm coming around. Someone's coming. Nanu, Nanu, I'm coming back around. I'm coming back in, Norton. So they're like, I'm coming back. You're definitely dealing up around judgment. Uh, coming up for your February uh, Aquarius's. Aquarius's asses. you're like, well, look at that ass. I can't let that ass go because I keep looking at this ass. Somebody keeps looking at someone's ass, and you had that before, or Lars, but like you keep looking at their ass. It's like I'm trying to pay attention to their ass. Now, if you're from China, it might be because, <laughs> sorry, but Chinese people, are, sorry for, for labeling people, but I do have Aquarius in the third as well, and like I don't give a shit, so. Like, I can't pronounce my R's or something. So, Farley Was or something. Farley Was or like for, uh, like a Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> Someone's going to be showing you their chocolate factory. So, it depends which hole you're going in or up. But it's in one of these chocolate holes. And <laughs> we've been coming up for that for a while. Like, it's in someone's chocolate hole. Right? <laughs> so, that's one of the holes filled. And it just needs another crack filling in. So, this person has got something in their back as well as where they want their front filled in as well. So unless your name's Phil McCracken, or like you're a plasterer or something, or you're very good at like plastering something up, make, putting a patch over it, uh, could be a dog or a cat, Leo, but like uh, we're gonna have to put a patch on that. So you might have a hole somewhere, and you're like, look, if you've got one hole there and that's filled, then you might as well have another hole filled. So someone's probably going in both holes, who knows? Um, 
but you've kind of got this top, middle, or bottom. Well, I've only got two, and it's on my bottom, so you might as well go in that one. So, man, where are y'all going? <laughs> it's like you don't know which way you're going. Are you directing it? It's like, oh, I don't really care. You don't need to find the direction. Just get it in there. So, get in there, Pisces. So, you kind of get Aquarius. But you've kind of got this, look, I'm getting in there. Whichever way it is, I'm going to get in. You've kind of got this big bad wolf kind of energy of like, look, I'm going to huff and I'm going to puff and I'm going to blow your house in and smash your back doors in. So you've got Jim Morrison references here. I'm a back door man. So someone likes it in there. That's for sure. Um, <laughs> Steve, what on earth are these messages about? Well, good ones. There is nothing bad at the moment, uh, Aquarius, of what I can tell through channeled. Because it's all just dirty, brother. I mean, you're either going to be watching porn on a big screen or like you've got a big screen of something now and it feels like uh, I've got a big screen, ice cream for ice cream. So unless you've got a Charlie in the Chocolate Factory that makes chocolate ice cream, but, well, you know, they say lemonade, lemonade, round the corner, chocolate aid, right? So you could be seeing AD or Adrian or ADD or ABB, but be very careful around when you go up the chocolate box. Because you've kind of got this, uh, like, I don't know, <laughs> what on earth are these relating to? I mean, Capricorn, they had Sausage Party, man. And they must be getting so fed up because, I don't know, unless everybody's just having a great old time at the moment doing things that they don't want to divulge in. Because it like, seems to be like a lot of devilish energy of, like, devil eggs or Devi or Stev, Stev, Stevie, Steve or... Uh, because I'm picking up uh, Kings, Steve and King, so you kind of got, well, we all float down here with all three balloons, and it's my party, and I can cry if I want to. Oh, okay. What are we looking at? February. Aquarius is. Is it your birthday? Is it? February? Is that Aquarius's birthday? Because I'm hearing, it's my party, and it's like, well, if it's my birthday and it's my party... Well, then I might as well cry. So, you, uh, I don't know, it might be Tina. Sorry, Tina. But, like, uh, like, I don't know, like an urgency. Like, urgency, urgency is emergency. It's like I might be getting laid at my birthday or something, or getting laid on my birthday or something like that. I don't know. What I mean. um, yeah, but I'm definitely hearing, though, that everybody seems to have turned into these devil kind of like sexual entoriated feelings that everybody seems to be having well around my readings that's for sure uh because it feels like that loose and slack <laughs> so lucy and lucy or lucky lucy or like you lucky so you've kind of got a lucky so man it's like well if you play your cards right bruce so someone's from definitely australia and they're like look, if you play your cards right bruce foresight then can't you see? And you're like, well, well, hold on a minute. I might be a card reader, but I don't know. Can I see? And you're like, well, you can see me if you want. So you just got to show me a pair of tricks. Oh, <laughs> man, really? Yeah, well, like, like, I can show you a pair if you want. So someone is showing their pairs. Pairs, bums, plums, and tums, and they're not a pair of cards. It could be a card reader. Who knows? But I'm hearing, like, they've got a nice pair, whatever it is. So it's like, look, they've got a nice pair of jacks in their hands, or the name Jackson or Jackie. But, like, they've got a nice pair in their hands, so, I don't know, these two babies that someone's cradling, or what, I don't know, but they're cradling something, that's for sure. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, man, to relate these to anything in your life, it's all good, it's all gravy. I mean, it's they're all, at the moment, seem to be turning into phallic food attractions of, like, I don't know, well, my messages, they're all obviously dirty, so they're... They're representing like I could put food on it. Like, do you want me to put food on? Do you want me to cook you tea? Do you want me to cook your dinner? Do you want me to like put some food on you? Or do you want me to like decorate it with two, two like cherries or something? I mean, what is that? Unless you're from Cherry Hill or like, you know, Sherry. Or like uh, I can put two cherries on there. I can put two plums in your bums or like... In your mum. I mean, what on earth's that for? I can put two plums in your mum. I mean, <laughs> unless this person's a mum, and it's like, well, you might be a mum, but I can still put two plums in there. So, I mean, what is this? Are you drawing, like, fuck, someone's got to be drawing, like, bananas and apples and plums and stuff, surely, like painting? What on earth are all of these food-dirty references that keep coming up in my head 
that keep making me think about food. Well, you could be on a diet like myself, but man, that isn't making me think about food sexually. But it's passion. It's something that you've got that you do, that you love, that that you're very passionate about. And you're doing it and it's drawing all of this drawing. It's drawing. It's drawing. Or it's like a... It's drawing, it's drawing, the old man is snoring. It's kind of like, well, while the old man's out, I might as well draw about them. Or like, while they're not here, I might as well draw. Because it's a bit like Texas Hold from Texas, someone from Texas. Or like Texas Hold'em, like a card reader, or like drawing cards on someone. Or uh, like, or designing your own card or something. Man, I'd love to have my own card design. Uh, well, I actually, I've got some up there. It says seven on it, <laughs> uh, but I haven't used them. Um, but like uh, designing something that's yours, like it's my design, my designer. So you either like, you deal with clothes, fabric, or like cards, or like drawing and painting and all those kind of things, uh, Aquarius. And, the, and everybody seems to be on these, uh, which is what I've been saying for years. Find something that is very attractive in your energy, right? Because it gives you great source of, of energy. Things, things, not people. They give you great source of energy. So interest, right? So you've kind of got this like common interest with somebody that is interested in the same thing. And it's to do with designing stuff or pictures or, <laughs> or like, uh, you know, the same interest. We're interested in the same things, a lot of you, right? So you, you've got good messages for February, you really do. Because I tried to stay away from the, the Pisces one, but they kept coming up with the same things, which was, um, why am I hearing ring and ring and roses, a pocket full of poses, like posing for a camera, like posing? Or like uh, posy, pose posing like posing for for a picture listen unless any of you <laughs> sorry <laughs> but listen I'm a bloke right I sit here for a long time right uh, you know but like uh like <laughs> it's so inappropriate when you're a guy and you sit and anything man I've got an itch just fucking scratch it it's kind of like that I've got an itch and it can't be scratched but man I have got to scratch this itch so some of you have got like this itch that really needs scratching but you can't and you're like it's kind of like someone's on heat and they're rubbing up against someone or it's like I've just got this urge and I can't get it scratched or I can't get it felt meaning like I can't get felt but I can feel it kind of energy right so it's like this explosion tower of like I've just got this certain itch that I can't reach but there I know that there's someone that will be able to reach that so you're looking for bigger and better things and thinking well you know what they've got something bigger and if they have and I've got an itch that needs scratching then I need to scratch this person's pole and I need them to get that in there because then that will scratch that itch so you've got something like a back scratcher or you need something larger right so Elijah <laughs> but like you need something like larger right in order to be able to reach in those awkward places so you're like, like I've got this itch and it's further up or down or inside and because it's further up then I need something bigger that's going to scratch it so you've kind of got that like, I'm looking for more because if I really want to get off then it has to be more so some of you could even be going in a video production or anything but it's like, well, look, I've got the latest video and I can put it on big screen. So, man, y'all definitely dealing with pictures and videos. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. Or like a bigger camera. Or like, I want a bigger camera. I want a bigger house. I want a, a bigger this and a bigger everything. Like, well, there's no point in going small. We might as well look for things that are larger, right? So that's what I'm hearing. So um, you've kind of got that uh, energy, uh, uh, Aquarius. So... <laughs> what what is this coming to well it's coming and they keep saying like it's definitely coming all over the place so you've kind of man it, it's like i don't know like someone's just coming everywhere like in a like doing it here doing it there doing it there or posing in that corner in this corner i'm in the corner posing or like i don't know 
corner shelves or bookends or something I don't know but a corner shelf or a corner stone shop I don't know man I can't quite put my finger on it but it's like I've got an itch that needs scratching and I know the person to contact that will definitely float my boat put it that way so you've got those energies there uh, Aquarius which are all gravy uh, what else did I pick up Rising up back on my feet equals Leo rising Aquarius. I'm also picking up that someone could be a Leo with a rising Aquarius or somebody here has a rising Aquarius. Uh, because I keep picking up like puddings rising or like someone's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and better and it's rising up, and rising up, and rising up. And it's just getting, you're just getting more efficient, basically, fish. You're definitely dealing with like a Pisces. But like becoming more efficient at it, like becoming very advanced at it and like getting bigger and bigger and bigger and making things better and better and not worse and all those kind of energies, right? It just gets bigger and bigger and bigger, they keep saying. Uh, but uh, like it's kind of like temptation. It becomes, starts off small, but then it gets bigger. It's like it's little and large. It starts off very little, but then it ends up getting very large. So you've kind of got that this is only a small one but I can give you a bigger one if you want. <laughs> or like, uh, I mean, really? I mean, are these food references altogether? Or are they like something that is small compared to something that is large and thinking, well, that small thing don't fill me, but that large thing will fill me. So you've kind of got this where like, well, if we're going to go in or we're going to go out and eat, then there's no point in just having like a chip. You know, let's have like fish and chips. <laughs> What are, what's the matter with you Americans anyway? What do you call fish and chips over there, bruv? Because something is getting battered, that's for sure. And it's probably a sausage. But like, um, sausage party. But like, uh, some of you are really having a party and you're eating sausages and volivants and stuff like that and you're going to be invited. But um, like, um, look, what do you all call fish and chips over there, bruv? Fish and chips, you never visited UK and had UK fish and chips? It's not fries. You can't have fries with fish. <laughs> no. So you've got to have chips. So you've got to have a bit of fish with it. Well, if you've got a nice chip, then dip that in my fish. Somebody wants to dip their chip in someone's fish. What is going on with these food references, bruv? Very peculiar. I mean, me, I know I'm cooking a lot now. i am actually been on a diet for a little while. I'm enjoying it. Uh, and uh, I'm cooking like healthy food, so I'm enjoying that. So yeah, food like natural food, just. Uh, but you've kind of got this look. I've, I haven't eaten for a while, and I'm starving. And why just have a chip when we might as well just have like have a day where I'm like you know let's just like eat loads of shit. So you've kind of got that where you're on a diet, but then you're like. Uh, you know, you go ham at everything on your day off. You're like, bro, this is my day off. I'm just going to lie here like a starfish. And, uh, see, that's Aquarian. A starfish. A starfish. So uh, so you could be visiting anywhere that has starfishes or someone has a picture of a fish on something and it's a starfish or it's a fish. I don't know, but you're definitely going to be looking at people's fish. Whatever way it is, I'm going to show you my fish. And I'm going to show you, I mean, you could even be drawing a fish, I don't know. But they're saying that whatever it is that you are keeping your close eye on a fish, or you're drawing one, or this person has a tattoo of a fish. <laughs> Have I got, no, I haven't got any fish on me. Actually, I should get a fish tattoo. But like, um, fish, man, they just keep saying fish, fish, fish. Boongate, unless you're from Lantern. Lantern, you might be from around Boongate, or I don't know. Lionsgate, Leo's, <coughs> right, <laughs> so uh, can you get it any bigger or better, but I'm also picking up Thing, Stephen King, but like can you get in better, can you get it any better, or like can you get any better, can you get any, <laughs> listen, <laughs> bro, no, <laughs> but like can you get any better, like you can't never put a bare bit of butter on your knife, so it could be from up north. Can it get any better? It's like, well, can this get any better? No, that's what they're saying. It can't get any better. It's like you're hitting the big time, whatever. It's like, I just need to make it better and perfect it. Man, that's me all over, bruv. 
when I'm making music, I always try to make it better. I mean, I do. I strive to make things better, right? Why make things worse? Why dwell on the past? You just kind of got these energies where it's more like that. Like, it's getting bigger and bigger and better and better and better. Okay. Uh, more, more, more. Again, that came up, but it was in a Pisces reading. More, 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 more. A crap for more, more, more. Might be doctor's appointment for a lot of you. Like that. But whatever it is that you're going back for more, it's kind of like, well, I've got some, and then I'm going to go back for more. Like It's like I'm going back for second helpings, or I'm going, I mean, bruv, any of you really struggling with your diet? <laughs> because if you are, you need to be really careful. Because they're saying that whatever it is, like you go back for more. Like You don't just start, you start it as you mean to go on, and you're like, well, if we're going to start it, then we might as well keep going. So I don't know if you're going on a trip or a journey and you're traveling out and you're like, well, fuck it, brother, if we're here, we might as well keep going to the next one and then to the next stop and then to the next stop. So I don't know if you're traveling during February, you've got plans to, but I keep hearing like a lot of you go up for second helpings, like I can't help it. Like I'll, I want the first plate, but then I want another plate and another plate and another plate. Or like um, I... Like I want it once, but then I want it twice or three times or more. Because <laughs> you kind of look like if we're going to do it once, then we might as well do it again after that. So you got a goer. Anyway, you got someone like, well, if we've done it once, we might as well do it again, right? Or if we've done it before, then why not just stick it in? So you kind of got this energy of like, well, if we've done it once before, we might as well do it again. So, man, yeah, I mean, definitely got good, some good times coming up, Aquarius. Definitely around if we've done it once before, we might as well do it again. Or it's kind of like a, I'm going back for second helping. It's like I can't help it. I have to keep going back for more. You have got addictions here, that's for sure. But I don't think that there are any of a lot of any of them are very bad. I think that uh, uh, definitely if it's food, definitely if it's food, because you've got to be very careful around that because I, I keep picking up like overindulgent energies, right? And if anybody is doing anything that that's like drink drinks or brinks but like drink drugs or anything like that it's addictive so be very careful around what's addictive but sex is also addictive uh and anything that really turns you on is also very addictive as well and if it's a two of cups energy that really kind of gets you going so you know obviously you still got to be careful around those but i don't think there is is because because i keep hearing caution caution like a caution so be careful around driving fast, like a caution or a cancerian. Be careful around a cancerian, any of you, because I'm hearing caution, caution, caution. Uh, and the only reason I would come up with that reading, sorry about the dog, <coughs> um, is because caution would meaning that it would be too fast, so that's a car. So you've kind of got that, it's, you know, it's a bit fast, or it's a bit far. So I don't know what this is, it's like it's a bit far, or taking it far, like how far are you... How far are you willing to take it? Or how far are you willing to come? If you travel, how far is it that you're willing to go? Because it feels like this needing to stop and then go. So you've kind of got references of seven or cancerian. But if there's anything of drink or drugs or anything like that, then be very cautious around somebody because you've got addictions here. That's all I'm saying. And I don't know... If that's like where you've not drank in ages and then all of a sudden you're like, you know what, it's my party and I can cry if I want to, so I'm going to have a drink. Because then it's kind of like, well, I might as well go back for another and go back for another and then go back and have another and another and another and another. So you've kind of got energies that you might need to be very uh, careful if it is around overindulgent energies of drink or food. Okay. Um, but... Man, I don't think that you give a shit. I think that you are going for it. Going for gold, Aquarius, because I can't feel... It's kind of like I can't feel it, but I can... Like, I know it. Like, it's just I know. It's kind of like, I just know, you know. you got no yes energies around Libra. Like, no, past, yes, future. Or like, guess who kind of energy. Like, is it Sid with the glasses? Or like, uh, like, uh, do you want to have a game of guess who? And you knock them down. It's like, well, no, it's Sid with the glasses, weren't it? Or like Sydney from Australia, Sydney, Australia. Or it's like, look, guess, guess who? It's me. I've got glasses. <laughs> Man, I've got to get glasses as well. But like, uh, guess me, guess me, guess me. Like, guess me. 
It's kind of like this, riddle me this, riddle me that. Can you guess? Can you guess? Can you guess who? Well, no, because you're not telling me, bruv. Guess who? I don't know if someone appears up in your energy on something and they're like, they just leave like a secret code of like, haha, guess who? And you're like, I don't know, bruv, give us a clue. And you're like, well, Matthew. And it's like the, the red book. And they used to do that. And there used to be a voice that just appears out of nowhere and they're all sitting there and it's kind of like the red book opens up and it's like, hello, can you remember back in 1964 when we went to school together and blah, 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 blah. And oh my God, that's Frank. I can remember you. And you're like, yes, that's me. And he comes on and he's like, oh my God, how are you? I haven't seen you in ages. And you're like, yeah. <laughs> so that was a TV program, right? Uh, the, the, it wasn't the Guinness Book of Records it was the red uh, I don't know but they drive a red car maybe I don't know Red Reliant or something but like um, like I haven't seen you in a, I mean this might be where it's a party or a get together and you're like listen I can remember you back in 1964 so you might be visiting your grandparents or something or uh, like because I've got to go through that message slightly uh, or the name Lee Okay, but uh, it's like, can you remember the 5th of November? Or can you remember... Uh, uh, Lee Eggles, sorry. There you go, there's the Lee, right? Um, but like, um, it's kind of this uh, Aspel. Michael Aspel, his name was. I'm sure it was. Any of you UK lot, Michael Aspel, right, that did the Red Book? And uh, it's kind of like, look, I need to go and visit the Red Book, right? I need to look at the Red Book. And as they read it out, they read out all of these things that you accomplished in your life. Okay, and that's why it was called This Is Your Life. And uh, it's someone that's very important that gets called up onto a TV show. And uh, it says, this is your life. And then uh, he would read out all these things and these people would just come on and appear as a voice. So... Uh, I don't know if you're going on like a show of where it's called The Voice or like it's just somebody's voice that's very alluring or attractive and all you do is get to hear their voice for the first time because it feels like someone that hasn't heard your voice in a long time and then suddenly you speak to them and they're like, man, I haven't heard your voice in like forever like or I've never. They're saying that someone here has never heard someone's voice. Like I've never heard you speak. I've seen you. But I've never heard you speak. I've never heard your voice before, is what they're saying. So I think this might be someone that you know, but you... What? How can you know someone, but you haven't never heard their voice? It might be clients. I don't know. But like, you know me, but you've never heard my voice before. But I've been listening to yours. It's like I've been listening to your voice, and I've been listening and listening and listening, but you've never actually listened to my voice before. You've never heard my voice. So you're going to be hearing someone that you know of, but you've never heard their voice. So what, have you been emailing or texting someone and you've never physically seen or heard them or heard, heard anything from this person? I've got no idea. Anyway, that's your February channel messages of what you've got coming up. Okay. Now, as an added bonus, I've been doing certain different things, but I'm changing it up because I have a Gemini moon as well. Okay. So uh, I'm not going to do the contract bit. I'm just going to look into uh, what your partner wants from you, what they don't want from you, how they think and how they're feeling about you. I have been changing it up slightly. This isn't for February tarot reading. That will be coming out. But this is just an added bonus that people get that is over on Patreon. Okay. And it's only on the Secret 7 Full Access Bundle, a part of that. And if you do want to watch it, I'll be asking questions about, like, what does your partner want from you? What do they not want from you? Look at their energy slightly and see if we can compare it. Um, but it's really just an added bonus. If you want your bi-weeklies and your yearly and your monthly and everything like that, it's already over there where I've done two cross-matched energies of you and your partner. That was both bi-weeklies. There's no point in me doing that again because it's kind of the same. So I thought I'm going to have to change it up a bit. So I'm going to look into... Uh, like what does your partner want from you, what to do and what not to do, and advice of how to approach this energy or what is coming towards you kind of stuff, okay? But 
we'll have to see. You have to see when you're over there, okay? But like I said, if you do go over, you've got a whole plethora, plethora of past readings that you can watch and present ones as well. And this one is going to be slightly different. Uh, but this is for your February, but that reading is not going to be for February. It's only going to be timeline specific, which is like now, and we just look at a certain lot of questions, okay? Uh, what to do, what not to do, what your partner wants, what they don't want, what pleases them, all those kind of things, okay? Uh, and that will be only be over on the full access bundle. If you want a personal reading, you can reach out from the link below. If you like Angel Radio and the music that was at the beginning, if I, if I remember to put it on, <clears throat> but if you've heard any of my music and the one that I played just a minute ago, don't forget to check Angel Radio Music. This one, that one was called Jazz Radio. Uh, but it is on a playlist on this channel or another channel that is actually called Angel Radio uh, that I run. Uh, and if you like it and you want to support me, you can also buy it. But it's very cheap or you can listen to it for nothing. Okay? That's that Aquarius done. So uh, hopefully stay tuned for loads more coming up with the channel. I really do appreciate it. And if you want to join in on the fun, you can find this on the full access bundle on Patreon. Okay, guys. All right. Cheers. Thanks.